So check it out. There's two types of leaders. You got the charismatic leader, and then you got the get it done leader. Right? I think this is the get it done leader right here. Okay? But you got two types of leaders, charismatic and get it done. Now, the get it done leader, the get it done leader has very, very little emotion. Right? Little emotion. And also, also, the, the, the get it done leader, he has very little empathy for people. Very little empathy. Now, these two leaders, they both go to the C level of their corporations. The charismatic leader is more about the people. What do everybody say about them, right? They care about what people say about them. They care about, you know, how people feel. They're all in everybody else's feelings, okay? Matter of fact, they're so smart that sometimes they hire other people to do certain projects, right? So they, think they can get a job done. Hiring other people that are smarter than them to get a certain thing done. But the get it done leader is somebody who is, I'm going to get it done. This is what you're going to do. And doesn't have a problem with firing anybody. If you're not going to get it done, then that's just what it is. However, my question is, can that type of thinking survive on the sea level? Can you be this this person that has no empathy for people, fire whoever, not really care about their feelings at all, or can you be the person at the sea level that has empathy for people, understands who you are and what you actually need? What do you guys think? Who was the one that made it? Was it the get it done leader or was it the charismatic leader? Dominique? Get it done leader. You thought it was a get it on leader? What do you I think? I would say the charismatic. Charismatic? Daisy, what do you think? Get it done or charismatic? 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 Get it done? Charismatic? Get it done. Charismatic? Cam, what do you think? Charismatic. Okay. For everybody that shows charismatic, you're wrong. <laughs> you are wrong. You are wrong. Here's why. Because guess what? What got you here won't get you there. What got you here won't get you there. The reason why the charismatic leader didn't go to the next level or stay in the C-suite is because he wasn't willing to bat lefty. You got to understand that... Batting righty got you here to the big leagues. But sometimes the coach is going to say, hey, I need you to bat lefty during this particular situation. What are you going to do? So to get it done, leader said, you know what? I am going to learn how to have empathy for people. I am going to learn that sometimes I'm going to have to go outside and get other people to do certain things because that is the right thing for the particular job. Versus the charismatic leader, he was afraid to fire somebody when needed. He was afraid to, to, to get under somebody else's skin. He was afraid of what people would say about them. So therefore, the charismatic leader said, you know what? I'm going to go down to mid-level and lower-level management because that's where I belong. I'm not willing to go to the next level. But the get-it-done leader said, you know what? I'm going to bat righty and lefty. And I'm going to go to that next level no matter what. I'm going to have logic and emotion. And I'm going to learn how to use them in their proper place. Right? If y'all feel that, say, all right. all right. Come on now. Okay? Now here we go. Here's the last part of the exercise.